Hi! <laughs> Hello, ladies, gents, and slobbering slugmen dragging themselves through the floor. Welcome to the Withering Rooms, a horror roguelike. Um, instead of trying to explain every mechanic in the game, I figured I'm just going to explore the attic. I've been playing this run for about six hours. Our protagonist is equipped with a shield and an axe. But she is mostly a spell caster, and she is ready to go into this, check out the map, go into this attic right here and face whatever monster may be in it. Never mind my pet doll, she is not a fighter, she just opens certain contraptions for me. Hopefully she will not get murdered by whatever inhabits this room. Let us peek inside, it is very dark. It is very ominous. Thankfully, I have an inner light that shall illuminate the way. I have triggered these horrible traps by rolling over them with immunity. Whoop! You have an item that gives you immunity when you roll. It is not by default. Let me uh, equip a lantern and a nice fireball spell. Because uh, there is monsters, oh, monsters ahead, and I'm going to fireball the crap out of them. Nothing is coming, nothing shows up. I may hide here, yes, let me hide here. Hiding, not very good when you have inner light. People will constantly spot you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Somebody's, uh, you know, looking through the walls as this horrendous monstrosity comes. Get destroyed with my fireball. Okay, that was not as much damage as I thought it would be. Let me just uh, change tactics. Kill it. Kill it with axes. Barely scratching. Don't, don't kill my beautiful doll. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Actually, do a lot of damage. All right, let me uh, use more cowardly tactics. Doll, come behind me, please. Come behind me. Actually, come out of the the room and stay behind me Zah! these thrown knives are not doing absolutely nothing pretty sure they can they may not be able hopefully they won't be able to follow me here let me just use my acid jars Hah! oh yeah these are highly effective oh oh geez the acid actually hit me Give me a little bit of healing, please. Thankfully, the game pauses when in menus. Otherwise, I would be dead a thousand times over. Okay, the acid was highly effective. We have another monster behind us, though. Ooh, give me that throwing knife. Get behind me, beautiful doll. Oh, I uh, need to equip it because it was my last one. You are not yet dead. Let me just... Yeah! All right. I do have... Oh, holy crap. That <laughs> thing startles me every time. I do have an actual shield that probably should have been using. But I do like the effect of the lantern. Going forward, we have found a new enemy type called the Caged Ghoul. That they continue to accumulate. And locked doors are proven insufficient to keep them from roaming the halls. Gives you all the stats. Very nice. Uh, loot is varied and very useful. Give me all the stuff in your pockets. I need every bit to help me going forward. Let's see, we got uh, one throwing knife in my inventory. I need to be able to pick them all up. There you go. They are my number one defense against the monsters. Let us see what we can find in this horrendous attic. A castle ring. A sturdy stone ring carved from a castle brick. Received 15% less physical damage. Plus 15 poise and also a bloody ring. The inside of the ring is serrated, cutting the wearer and inflicted bloodlust. Cruelty is endemic to humanity. It's not a surprise. Our alleyways are dripping with blood. Plus 40% melee damage. That's pretty badass. Plus one bleeding build up to melee attacks. Inflicts bleeding build up on the wearer. That's the downside. All right. Man, this chest is where the the... Owners kept all their jewelry. A ring cast from a mixture of gold and blood increases the number of coins found by 30%. That is pretty badass. I do have a spellcaster kind of equipment build going on. My spells do quite a bit more damage. Actually, I think I forgot to swap 
<laughs> and I have this equipped instead. Give me this outfit. There you go. This outfit, but with the glasses. You can, you can pre-save them. And then uh, you don't have to, you know, constantly manage the, the rings. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Basically do a lot of spell damage. And I will spam them as soon as I get attacked by horrendous monstrosity. So I've been slowly exploring this giant mansion in the dream. It is a side-scrolling horror video game that the jump scares are pretty, are pretty, pretty hard to deal with. Holy crap. Okay, well, uh, please close the door. <laughs> never, never allow the monsters to come into the room. I don't think he saw me. You're not f safe behind doors. Only if they are magically protected can you count on the protection of doors. Okay, nobody's coming. Let me just... Maybe we can quickly go into this room. Attic room A. Clearly no, no danger going on in here, right? Just close the door behind me. Hopefully it did not see me. I see a freaking Iron Maiden over here. Oh! <laughs> uh, Alright, well. It's time to use a, our giant pile of spells. Curse Ball! Push! Okay, well, uh, it took a lot less damage than I thought. Because we uh, I do have the build that does a lot more damage. My armor spell has been depleted. Thanks to the incredible aggression of this creature. Oh yeah, again, the, all the loot. Give me good stuff, baby. You may see uh, strange things happening in the background. The higher my curse goes up, which is the skull, a gold ring with a painted cross, plus ten percent, plus a hundred percent luck. That is huge. Um, the higher, do you see the top right corner? The top one is my health plus armor. The one at the bottom, be, beneath it, is my curse level. The more curse you have, the weirder things you see. But also there is a possibility of treasure spawning. And, uh, open, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Permanent treasure, a coin purse. Let me see. The things that I've been picking up, there's so many, so many things. For now, let's equip this gold ring. That gives me a pile of luck, which increases the chance of double damage. This is basically my critical critical hit chance is now 26%, which seems pretty damn badass to me. I cannot find that coin purse though. I don't know where. Ah, there it is. A cloth coin purse dyed with red, red with blood and powder organs. Normally all possessions are lost upon death in the dream, but this purse will safely preserve 10 coins. I see. When you die, it's a roguelike. When you die, you go back to the start, but you have many mechanics to keep a whole bunch of stuff. And that is the permanent progression going on. Um, all right, well, we'll continue. It's stressing me out having zero light. Let me put on my oil lamp so we can traverse this cursed area. A doll dress, a dress commissioned by Priscilla Mostyn for her life-size doll. I find it quite unnerving. Certainly Priscilla can take it back up, up to the attic before the guests arrive. This mansion has this really creepy family in it and it, the entire plot is figuring out what is going on in this place this horrible dream bunch of poise less paralysis and bleeding eh not terribly not terribly into wielding that piece of crap hey another chest empty jars for crafting i will really appreciate a crafting bench all right, let's see if we can murder that creature thing with the rifle. Wonder if he can even go through doors. Giant monsters like that. Some tyrants are unable to go through doors. Let me uh, go through here. We're going to prepare a fireball. Actually, let's cast this possession spell, which creates a a book familiar type of deal. And then fireball shall be coming out of my ass. Let me also equip the shield to prevent this horrendous monster. Maybe I can use it. 
There it is. Uyuasa! Wow, that was half its health pool. And a uh, curse ball for you! Hold up the shield. Okay, it's almost dead. Maybe the, the book will kill it. See, barely did any damage there. Well, off, off went my beautiful doll. I think uh, it got murdered. Alright, now it's time. Now it's my time. Oh, jeez, it kicked me in the freaking face. <laughs> Don't appreciate it. Alright, give me that good stuff. Hunter Ghoul. Hired for a day to clear the surrounding landscape of vermin, but stuck in the dream forever. There's this weird idol that traps things in the dream. The dream lasts for weeks in the minds of people, and then people wake up the next day. Hey, my chest, my beautiful chest. My curse load is being drained by the book. But it's very easy to build your curse back up. Basically, just rolling will do it. If you have an item equipped, you can also go into the inventory and equip the get curse while running item which makes you run super fast but you see the curse damage happening pretty pretty hard there you go there you go let's continue exploring this place for more loot and more delicious things that is basically the entire gameplay loop is you go through these places let me just get super cursed so i can get my chest back the more cursed you are the more weird things happen in the background give me that chest it's mine Pottery shard. Ooh, how exciting. Show me the map. Okay, we haven't been... Oh, Priscilla's attic room actually has a crafting spot. Uh, no, I need to close that. Let me just go in. Am I in the right spot? No, I went to the regular attic room. So we gotta go to this one right here. Open it up and go in. Hey, we are in Priscilla's attic room. I see the... The doll does go back to this spot because she is extremely useful to open some areas. So I, uh, I appreciate that it respawns over here when it dies. Uh, open this things like these. You can I can actually show you right now. Let me use my reanimation spell. Shoom. She comes with me. Come over here, beautiful doll. Crank it. I appreciate you. Let me inspect that. There's absolutely nothing. All right. There's no crafting spot here, but we can go through the secret passage. There we are. We are now in the upper parlor. And we can stare into the mirror. Go into into nowhere. And here is our teleporting hub. Hub, go back in there. And these function as teleportation devices. There's so many rooms in this place. And they actually all, like, reset already. I beat the first act makes it so that the second act kind of respawns things we have the laboratory oh, no the observatory has both benches i believe let's go over here we can craft some more spells you need a whole bunch of materials to do it give me more fireballs give me more armor i like the enchanting spells i am out of materials however so i cannot buy any more uh so this is, this is decent and let me craft maybe some paralytic jars they are so useful unfortunately unfortunately i don't have any paralysis leaf let me get some more acid jars because men are they great uh sure we'll get another empty i mean another incendiary jar there's so many items that you can use to maybe not die horrendously in the dream. Let's go all the way to the back here. Talk to this vendor who, which has witchy materials. I've depleted most of the stuff, but we can get some other extra stuff. Here's my currency. I have 123 coins. They're pretty hard to come by at the start, but then later you get quite a lot, quite a lot more. All right, I'm going to go back to the attic which is right next to the observatory and I really want to explore the rest of that attic see what lays inside let's go back to the observatory and then when you run this way my book has disappeared might as well grab it have another possession book ready oh no it's there can I cast several no you cannot only one possession book can be had at a time it will slowly drain my curse which is actually great because Casting spells gives you a curse. It's a nice little uh, bit of balance there. 
Oh, this is so freaking dark. Give me an oil lamp. I'm ready to throw my curse ball at the monsters. That's right, we went past this. Let's continue exploring this attic. Funky stuff going on over there. Peek through the door. Can I open from this side? There shall be secrets to be uncovered. No monster to be seen outright. If it's a very lowly. Oh, no one of these. Duck! <laughs> Throw the knives. Um. I don't want to waste quote unquote a curse ball. I think we can just sm smash this guy. Uh, actually, we can put on. It's instantaneous, the, the switching of the outfits. So let me put on the physical damage outfit. Smash! Spam the attacks. Oh, yeah. Get destroyed, you scum lord. The combat. It is touted as, as a like Souls-like, 2D Souls-like kind of thing. I wouldn't call it that. There's a lot more. Like you can dodge, you can learn move sets and all that stuff, but mostly I would call it a war of attrition unless you're like super good and you pay a lot of attention. My curse has been depleted, and unfortunately, my book is gone. The book really was not doing very much. Initiate his candlestick. A candlestick that appears perfectly normal, however, it has been enchanted to fling fireballs when waved in the air, through, though it provides a method to cast a spell with no materials, the damage is low, unless used by an expert witch. Wow. All right, well, that's another, another room explored. Let's carry on what's back here. Attic B. It is populated <laughs> by a number of monsters. Let me go back to my inventory, get myself the spell casting outfit. And these guys are eating a couple fireballs. Hello, gross creatures. Cast! Oh, and then only one was necessary. What a waste. Eat it! Kill 50 things in a single night. I have been uh, awarded a. Wah! Awarded a. Achievement. This should do it. Uh, probably not throw above the damn creature. Are you dead? Okay, you're dead. See how the spells curse the crap out of me? Uh, that was pretty wasteful. You don't have infinite resources. You craft spells with the things that you find in the mansion. Ow. Ow. Oh, I'm standing on the curse. Uh, that thing used to be a cursed monster. Uh, a ghost and ghost leave cursed corpses. Did I grab all my knives? I did. I'm very high on the curse level, so might as well get a possession book going on. Uh, it will give me curse, curse. Really? Even more of these monsters, huh? We do have quite a few acid jars. Oh, jeez! <laughs> this doll does absolutely no fighting whatsoever. And now I'll throw a knife. Die a million times, please. Excellent. Loot, 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 loot. Oh man, I'm standing on the freaking corpse again. Oh man, that's a lot of damage. I want to use my one of my few spells that I got left. Let's try to cheese this one. Give me sword and board. Switch to physical. Get smashed in the head. Oh yeah. Man, that's, that's <laughs> very aggressive. Stop attacking my beautiful doll. Okay, let me uh, quickly run. Give myself a little bit of extra health. And I, I've been hopelessly addicted to withering rooms or whatever the hey the game is actually called. Hopelessly addicted. It is so much entertainment to go through these rooms exploring, getting all the loot, being 
horrendously. Give me this one. Being horrendously uh, jump scared by all the monsters. Truly a harrowing experience that I've been enjoying a great deal. Oh, jeez. Seems like we are ready to go over to the other side. The thing is, there's a, a stairwell that is accessible from a different area. But anyway, I just wanted to show a, like a little snippet of what the experience is like. Back to the balcony. Oh, I want to explore. To finish up, let's explore Robert Blackett's room. It is, I think, the big honcho, the big boss that is destroying this place beyond this threshold is a horrible monster i don't ever want to face i'm never going to go in there uh you can get a bunch of familiars uh, enchanted armors and stuff like the doll but they actually fight and they're in fact super useful to bring down the big monsters okay crank it you don't want to crank it i guess i'll crank it i see you definitely need to crank that and I guess you enter, huh? Wow, it, it gives you, it takes you to some kind of a secret area. But first, I must loot! Very important. In fact, I really shouldn't go down there without crafting some items. Thankfully, there is a crafting bench right here. I have a lot of medicine jars. Let me get one of these. That seems like a reasonable pile. Absolutely nothing here. I do want to craft some most, more spells, more fireballs. For the three fireballs, give me cursed balls, give me armor. Actually, I want enchanted spells. There you go. Enchanting enemies is very, very helpful. Teleport back to the rubber blacket area. Let us find out what is beyond the skeleton closet. Literally exploring the skeletons in this man's closet. You want to crank it? There you are. Enter. Whoa. Where are we? Show me the map, please. Secret attic room. Here's one of the mechanics through which you can remember items in the dream. I need two organ grease, though, and I don't have any of those. If you make the offering, you can select an item to retain after you die celestial music there is no greater sound than the human body playing transmissions from the cosmos each cluster of stars a single note i see this is a puzzle there are several puzzles they've been fairly trivial so far i see you need to figure out the notes wonderful figure out the notes looking at the stars in a different in the observatory what the hell is this monster search ooh an entrance hall key a key to unlock the entrance hall accessible from the west west stairwell that is like the thing that i needed to do that is like the main quest that i have assigned to me right now figure out a way to get out the entrance so looking forward to see what's beyond the entrance floor so that's withering rooms i wasn't even trying to give you a full view of the video game just a snippet of what the gameplay is like and I can see how it's not appealing to many gamers out there but let me tell you I've been so addicted to getting through this horrible gigantic super horrendous haunted mansion getting all the loot fending off all the monsters we're actually uh, at the entrance this is where the key is supposed to go but I will not open it I will not I will let you maybe find out if you want to play it for yourself Withering Rooms it is a super fun time check it out